the reason we wanted to have the road trek or the vehicle to go was because we did want to travel and go around. And he wanted to have his cameras and take pictures and we didn't want to have that in an automobile because you have to carry that all in the motel every night and then you have to lug it back out to the car every night. And, you know, you can't leave it in the car. And so that was why we, we decided we wanted something we could have everything in there with us. And I have pets and I wanted to be able to travel with my pets and not leave them in a kennel someplace. So that's what we wanted to be self-contained, and and we didn't want a big motor home. Uh, I didn't want all that to deal with, and you can't take that everywhere. This one we can go off road. We can go down the little forest roads, the little gravel forest roads, and we can turn around. When you get in the parks, sometimes there's a limit on what you can do in the national parks. If you're over 22 feet, you can't go in. You have to park in the parking lot and ride a bus. And, that's not for us, so we wanted to be able to be independent and do what we wanted to do. I mean, we can get up when we want, we can go to bed when we want, we can drive in the middle of the night to get someplace, to be there before sunrise, and, and uh, it just allows us to do whatever we want to do. And it sounds kind of selfish, but you know, if you want to do something, you like to be able to do it with the least amount of aggravation, and the road trek allows you to have everything with you and go do what you want to do when you want to do it. Especially with his wanting to take photographs. We have tripods and cameras and lenses, you know, so we have everything with us. We don't have to worry about anything. The reason to buy a road trek is, you know, they're number one in sales in Class B. They have dealers all across the country. They do a great job of service. Uh, if you have a problem, you contact the factory, they help you through it. Uh, maybe not instantly, but you know, over a period of time, they'll get the problem resolved. Uh, you know, it's, and it's a great vehicle. You know, the, ours happens to be a Chevrolet chassis. Uh, it's done a great job. You know, we've got 65,000 miles on it, and it's still going strong. It runs great, uh, gets up the hills gear down going down the hills when they're steep and uh, uh, I, I wouldn't know of a, another vehicle that would would compare to it in comfort. They're comfortable. They were designed by somebody who used them and and they're very comfortable to, to reside in for any period of time. And my viewpoint is there the the road trek is is just like a vehicle. It's just like an oversized van and so a woman or someone that's not used to driving a big rig could be totally comfortable driving this. You can park it in a normal parking spot that you could park a big van in, you know, so. And I just think it's nice because you can just go everywhere.